Hey Google, office lights on. All right, turning on three lights. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Lloyd. It has been nearly two years since I last posted my desk setup video and a lot has happened since then. My family and I moved to a new place, which meant I'll be having a new space. The apartment that we bought comes with a small den and since I'm working from home permanently, that den would be my office. It is pretty small space with no natural light coming in. At 9.5 feet by 7.25 feet, I have to find a way to maximize the space and have my working desk as well as a space to take photos for the brands I work with on IG. So let's take a look at what I came up with and just a heads up too that at some point in the video, you guys might notice some of the stuff moved. That's because I did move them because there has been some changes that I made while I was filming this video. We'll go around the office starting from the left wall and ending at the desk setup itself. So without further ado, let's take a look at these Grove made wall shelves. I have these wall shelves in Walnut and added some fake plants just to add some character. At the top, you'll see a deconstructed iPhone 4 that Grid Studio sent over to me. Next to that is an artwork made by my daughter last Father's Day. And this one is a special anniversary Scarface DVD set. Bottom shelf holds my lenses and the Sony RX1. I'm currently filming with a Sony a7 IV and a Tamron 17-28 f2.8. You've probably heard of the company Grove made by now, and rightfully so. Their products are very well made and worth every penny in my opinion. Let's now head over to the bigger shelf. This is a 5 tier shelf from Joss and Main. I did find this gem on Facebook Marketplace at a really good price. It matches the black and wood aesthetic in the office perfectly too. As for the stuff I have on it, I have about 4 home and Hadfield display cases, an old Yashica rangefinder that doesn't work anymore, some books, and I also have this Air Max 1 Lego-ish set from Net Magnetism. Got my Google Assistant and couple Bluetooth speakers from Bayer Dynamic and Poly. And these are some of the smaller tripods that I use from time to time. At the bottom shelf, I have some organization boxes from IKEA. More on that later. I also have the desk tray and laptop stand from Human Centric over here, which I use if I decide to change the look of my desk. For lighting, I still have the old industrial lamp with a Philips U bulb that I've had since the old setup. And to light up the lower shelf, I use this old BenQ screen bar and attach it using some Velcro. Over to the side of the shelf are just some other items like the human centric desk shelf, some desk mats from OrbitKey and GroveMade, a 5-in-1 reflector, and a light stand. I know these are a lot of stuff and I'll do my best to have everything linked in the description below. For now, let's move on over to the right side of the shelf. I have these Becky and Crease hooks to hold up two of my most used bags. The 3L Peak Design Everyday Sling and the 21L Wander Provoke. To add some ambient lighting in the corner, I use this Kofi Glide Wall light that can be connected to the Google Assistant too. Right below the bags is the wider version of the Alex drawers from IKEA. I have it lined up with some organization trays inside to hold smaller items like batteries and whatnots. On top of the drawer is this 4-in-1 charger from Nightstand, which I mainly use to charge my iPad mini. It also has a dedicated tray to hold other items like my wallet and glasses. Right next to the charger are two other valet trays that I have where I can just throw other stuff in. All the other stuff that I don't use often such as cables, chargers, cable management stuff, clamps, they all go to the IKEA boxes at the bottom of the shelf. This is pegboard number one, which mainly holds some computer related stuff I guess. Right here is a Logitech MX Keys for Mac. I've been using this for years now and it's still my dedicated keyboard for my 9 to 5. I don't see this changing anytime soon. And this is a back scratcher for my back because it gets itchy sometimes. Um, some cases for the iPad mini, charging bricks in case I needed one in a pinch and the dongles, perfect way to store them because these boys are very easy to lose. Another fake plan from Ikea, couple of notebooks, and the vintage lamp that I've had from the old setup. Got it from Ikea too. Over this side of the wall are two photos that I took. Left is on Cultus Lake in BC, and right one is one of the peaks in Morin Lake. These are the newest additions to the office at the time of filming, and you can see me there too. This is backward number two, so let's start at the bottom. 
this is a camera cage and L bracket for my Sony A7 IV, some clamps that I need, and the Sony MDR7506 for my headset. And this is a bar that I got from IKEA, a magnetic bar. Uh, it's pretty cool, I guess. Holds a pen, a charging cable, and over here is another clamp uh, or a friction arm. I got my monitor, microphones, and this is for some attachments for my gimbal. This long one right here is the motorized slider from Rhino. Um, some lens pins, some spigots attachments, and Peak Design anchor clips and plates. And that's pegboard number two. Right next to the pegboard and behind the door are the backdrops that I use. These are some poster boards, white and black ones. I sometimes use the white as a fill light or if I want to bounce a light. And this one right here is my old tabletop. If you've seen my old setup, you probably remember this, but I'll put up a photo right here. And right behind it are two other backdrops. I believe these are Linman tabletops from IKEA. And on top of that are just some wood panels that I got from Michaels. That's it. Let's check out the desk. The desk sits on top of this dual motor sit stand frame for Motion Gray. And I've been using this frame for more than two years or for almost two years now. And never had any issues with it. Still going strong. I also have the entire desk on caster so I can easily move it if I need to. As for the top, I'm using the Idacin desk from IKEA which is 63 by 31 inches. I also bought this Vivo vertebrae cable management kit to cover the cord hanging from the desk. And speaking of cable management, let's take a look underneath the desk. I have these cable management trays from IKEA. I believe these are called Signum. A single one runs about 28 inches long, so having two of these can basically do the job perfectly. I attach this power brick underneath, which allows me to have just a single cable coming down from the desk. For my peripherals, I'm using the Logitech MX Combo and the Apple Magic Trackpad. The MX Mechanical Mini replaced my Keychron K3 and the Air 75 mainly because of the battery life. This one charges via USB-C. I don't know much about mechanical keyboards, I usually just go by the looks. And the slim profile and color of this one makes it my go-to keyboard when I'm not working my 9 to 5. And the small kickstand does help to giving it a nice angle when typing and definitely eliminates the need for a keyboard wrist rest. Speaking of wrist rest, I'm still using the Carpio 2.0 from Delta Hub. I've gotten so used to this thing now that it feels so weird if I don't have it. For the mouse, we're still rocking with the MX Master 3, had this for years now and still might be the best productivity mouse out there. The ergonomics from this mouse paired with the Carpio wrist rest is just amazing. On the other side is the Apple Magic Trackpad. Had this for a couple of years now and I use it mainly for the gestures and the swipes. Swiping between desktops and all of the other Mac shortcuts can be done in a heartbeat. It is also perfect for swiping left and right while editing video timelines. All of these sit on top of the Orbit Key desk mat. I currently have it in large, which I think is a perfect size for most desk setups. As with the regular Orbit Key desk mats, the leather is very premium and has a second layer underneath where you can store smaller paper documents to keep your space clutter free. It also comes with a dedicated space for small accessories like pens and whatnots and a magnetic cable holder to keep your cables in place. Right next to the desk mat is the Anchor Thunderbolt 3 dock. I use this mainly for the SD card reader, but more importantly, mostly everything on this desk is connected to it. It powers the dual monitors, the MacBook, and my speakers. On the opposite side of the Anchor dock is my Nomad Base 1 Max charger. This is my dedicated phone and watch charger built like a tank and has a good weight to it that it won't move even when you're picking up your phone. Oh, and you can charge your AirPods there too. As for the speakers, nothing special. It's still the Kanto YU2. Had this for a couple years now and no reason to change. It works amazing and is the perfect size that I need. On a desk shelf, I have this productivity tool or a to-do list thing called Analog from Ogmonk. There's something different in jotting down notes with a pen and paper and the Analog does just that. It is very simple and fun to use and it just works as a perfect to-do system because it is right in front of you. You then just mark the tasks that you've completed or start a new one and place the old one on the divider. 
topping it off with a solid walnut base that matches my entire aesthetic. Beside the analog is the wireless knob for the BenQ screen bar halo. The screen bar itself is a perfect desk lamp replacement since it doesn't take up any desk space at all, and the light at the back is a welcomed addition too. Just check out how much light you get from this light bar. Right behind the desk shelf is what powers the entire setup. This is the 14 inch M1 Pro MacBook Pro that sits on this laptop stand from a company called The Hardwood. I upgraded to this from the Mac Mini and I never had one single problem with it so far. I have the Mac connected via one Thunderbolt cable to the anchor dock since I wanted to have a system that could be taken out and set up with just one cable. That's why I went with a Thunderbolt dock instead of using the ports that came with the Mac. Let's now take a look at the desk shelf. This was sent to me by Hexcal, but whatever I say about the shelf is my honest opinion and they don't have a say about it whatsoever. This shelf is built like a tank, very heavy and robust. You'll have the power button up front and all the other function buttons to access the different settings for the built-in light. Let's cycle through the different settings and start with the range. As you can see, you can choose how big or wide the light you want. I currently have it at the max range which uses the entire light bar. The intensity button basically adjusts the brightness of the light and the temperature lets you change the light kelvin if you want cooler or warmer light. You can then save your settings and have quick access to them using the favorite button. The shelf also has a dedicated wireless charging pad on top that can support up to two devices at the same time. I just never used this because I find that it was too slow for me. Right below the charging pad, you have four USB ports that you can use for charging different items. You get three USB-A and one USB-C. Looking at the back of the shelf, you'll have access to eight power outlets. You basically just have to plug the shelf itself, and you can have all your other stuff plugged into the shelf directly. If you think about it, you can use all eight outlets, the four USB ports, and the dual wireless charger, and you'll have 14 different devices being powered by the shelf itself. Let's now check out the built-in cable management tray. I didn't really have to use this since I already have the cable management dialed down under the desk, but I was curious to see how it works so I have the two monitors and the anchor dock plugged into the shelf and their power bricks inside a tray. On the left side of the tray is a hidden compartment for the leg extension, two on the left and the other two on the right. You can use these to make the shelf higher, which I didn't use because I barely have any room for my monitors just by using the default height it came in. Speaking of monitors, I have the LG Dual Up as a second monitor, which I mainly use for editing photos, browsing the web, and other stuff where I can take advantage of the unique layout. The 16 by 18 aspect ratio is really weird, and it's not for everyone. Either you hate it or you love it. There's also an app called Magnet that lets you organize and resize the windows or apps that you have opened. You can do this by using keyboard shortcuts or by clicking on the magnet icon on your menu bar. This is a great way to maximize the screen real estate that you get from the Dual Up. Another great thing about a Dual Up is that it comes with LG's Ergo Stand, which might be the best monitor arm I've used so far. It has a dedicated cable management, clamps on your desk, very stable and sturdy, but also lets you move the monitor in countless different ways. At the back of the monitor, you get plenty of options to have it connected. You have two HDMI ports, a display port, a couple USB-A ports, and a USB-C port where you can directly connect your Mac, and you can also charge your MacBook at the same time. As for my main monitor, I have the LG 32-inch 4K ultrafine display. I use this mostly for any video-related content that may be watching films, YouTube, or even editing videos. It does come with an ergo stand too, and much like the LG Dual Up, you get the exact same ports at the back. And finally, the chair. This is the Space Mesh Office Chair from Motion Gray. This is by far miles better than the autonomous ergo desk or ergo chair that I had before. Premium mesh, fully ergonomic, and the one touch control makes it easy to make minor adjustments to find that perfect comfort. And as always, I change the default casters to the rollerblade ones. And that's it for today guys. If you made it this far, thank you, thank you for giving me your time. I hope you find some sort of inspiration from what you've seen. And for those that are just starting out to build their office or their desk setups, just a friendly reminder that it doesn't happen overnight. 
take your time, don't rush it. It took me years and a bunch of work to get to this point. Just be patient and you'll arrive there in no time. As promised, I'll try my best to have everything linked down below. And if you got any questions, feel free to comment down and I'll make sure to answer them the best I can. Hopefully this will be a good start for 2023 in regards to this channel and I'll try to come up with some content consistently. So if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the sub button. If not, then that's cool too. Thanks for watching folks. I'll see you guys on the next one.